So a new update of Tesla full self-driving started rolling out over the last few days. It's called 12.3 and it's really getting everyone excited because it's starting to do these behaviors that are just so human-like, it's freaky. So check this out. This FSD stopped well before the line because there was a mother with her children walking across the crosswalk. It gave them plenty of room. This human on the right did not. After they cross, Tesla FSD starts to pull forward. That's very human-like. And so is this. This car wants to get in, so Tesla FSD gives it lots of space, waits for the car to start to pull out, and then FSD continues. Humans would not even know that this is a robot driving. This just started rolling out a few days ago, guys, and content creators are getting very excited. I'm talking about content creators who make FSD content. Look at this. It's green, but the Escalade in front doesn't realize, so FSD sort of starts pulling forward in anticipation that that Escalade is going to start to go. This is crazy stuff. All right, so we got a biker right here on a turn, on a pretty sharp turn. Let's see how it handles this. As a human, I would just wait for the turn to be over and then go around him. It looks like that's what's happening. Get a little close to him. Okay, this is sketchy because this is a downside of a hill was going in the opposite lane, but it did it perfectly. Wow, okay, cool. So you guys saw how human-like that was, and other FSD beta testers agree. FSD beta pilot says, just got in from a 12.3 drive. Yup, this is the real deal. 12.3 is what we've been waiting on since the Paint It Black video, and I wholeheartedly mean that. In my opinion, this is the version that people are actually going to use daily. I'm pumped for FSD like I haven't been in years. If you guys ever used FSD, I think it's a pretty amazing product. I think it's the most amazing product I've used since the iPhone. So as you guys can see, whether it's financial analysts or FSD beta testers, the hype is building, and for good reason. Assume 1 million cars in Tesla's fleet signing up for FSD monthly subscription for $199 per month. That's 600 million in net income per quarter or 2.4 billion per year. At 2 million cars, it's 5 billion per year and 10 million FSD subscriptions is about $24 billion per year. So let's go forward to 2035 and let's assume Tesla's selling 20 million cars per year. Let's say FSD is so good by 2035 that's 11 years from now, that 50% take rate on those 20 million cars per year means every year 10 million people sign up for an FSD subscription. That means every year Tesla's net income on FSD subscriptions alone will go up by $24 billion per year. Tesla's earnings could start to grow rapidly as things progress. But before we all start pitching our tents, let's check in with Omar from Holmar's catalog and see how his experience with V12 12.3 is going. Light here, we don't have a green arrow. So we need yeah. to wait for traffic. So there's we... traffic coming over there. Okay, it's going. And it's going for it. And that was fine. That was again, yeah. exactly what he FSD was. beta 11 would get stuck. It would get confused. It'd be waiting there for a long time. And, uh, you know, just kind of blow it. You'd be waiting there way too long. This just slipped in, in the opening, like a human would. This feels, I mean, I'm trying to like, you know, compare it to something. We were talking about Waymo yeah. earlier. This feels pretty dead yeah. comparable to Waymo. If exactly. Not, that's slightly, what everybody says. It's slightly more human than Waymo. Yes. It's slightly more human. Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell people. Yeah, that, that like the braking behavior, the acceleration behavior feels more like it's thinking more than it's like told how yeah. to think. Exactly. So you can see Omar is enjoying it. He did three drives with his friend there and they were all perfect. They were going so well. Right at the end of the third drive, they had their first intervention, but he was still so excited about the three drives and how human it felt that he went on X and was raving about the build. He said, this is the one that's going to go wide. It was finally happening. And then later that night, him and his friend went out on another couple of drives and then some weird things started to happen. It's Gone like, in yeah. this. Well, okay, so but it stopped way far back. Yeah, I mean, is it confused by the right hand turn sign? It's weird. It's the visualization showing stop signs in the road. It's there almost are like, red lights. It's almost like uh, the red lanterns for Chinese New Year's look are, like stop signs. Yeah, but this visualization could be like the old version. So. Let's wait to see what happens. The light turned green, yeah. but it still sees what it thinks are stop signs. Yeah. You're gonna give it a okay, little bit yeah, of a nudge. I'm the accelerator. Yeah, those those lanterns <laughs> tripped it. That's funny. That's an edge case right there. Super bizarre. And this wasn't the only problem that FSD had with red lights on this evening. The oh, trap. Oh my God, it feels like it's actually like stopping on the red. Yeah, and it looks going. like it's 
going between oh, it thinks green it's turning and red. Green. Oh no! Okay, they're gonna have to override that or change that at some point. So I zoomed in on the visualization so you guys can see what was happening there. When the red lights were flashing, FSD was anticipating that the light was about to turn green, and so it would start to go forward. But then it would go red again, so it would stop. I mean, it shows you how fast the reactor time on FSD is, but it's almost getting so smart that it's causing problems. But this will be an easy fix for the FSD team. However, it wasn't the only problem of the evening. Perfect distance. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're at the bottom of the hill now. There's one other car at the intersection. It looks like it's waiting for it. Yeah, was it there first? I think it was there first, accelerated a little yeah. bit and stopped again. But now it sh it now has permission to go, or it should go, uh -huh. and it's not yet yeah. going. It's kind of stopped here for some. Huh? That was a weird braking behavior. It released the brake and then immediately put, applied it again. Yeah, strange. All right. It's looking like you might have to help it. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. I feel like it kind of was thrown off by maybe the bottom of the hill. I'm like a... like maybe the occupancy network kind of made it think that there was something in front of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering exactly that. Like, was that a visibility issue? Mm -hmm. Probably not. What Did it think that there was an object parked in front of us? Potentially. So the hill was so steep that it's possible that FSD thought that the intersection was a wall. That's how steep this hill was. Again, a pretty major problem. And here's another even bigger problem that happened. Really want to get into the lane before the split, which uh -huh. kind of makes sense because it's not a dotted lane split, it is a solid lane split. Here's another one. And... That was not good. Yeah. It looked like it was a little indecisive about what lane to go in and there was a barrier in the center. It was, it was trying to get right, but it had to get right faster. And that's an intersection that I've seen 11 and previous versions of 12 handle fine. So mm -hmm. not sure what exactly was going wrong there. Yeah, and I want to comment that you did a good job taking mm -hmm. over. You were ready to take over mm -hmm. and let it go kind of close. But once you well, needed to take over, you took over. You can just hear how deflated Omar's voice became over the course of that drive because he was so elated after their first three drives. They were so perfect that after they had some food and went back out for this drive and things started to go wrong, I think he was just frustrated because he's got update after update, always hoping for that update that's going to be the one that goes wide. And he was like, this is the one for sure. And then this drive, some weird things started to happen as you saw. But the encouraging thing about those mistakes that we saw was they can be fixed. You show more footage of humans driving on steep hills. You show more footage of humans driving at flashing red lights, more footage of humans driving through Chinatown on Chinese New Year. I think what 12.3 has done is bring us another step down on the evolutionary timeline of full self-driving. FSD has evolved from driving like a teenager to sometimes doing something weird. And you might say, Jacob, it almost just drove into that middle divider. And yeah, true, that was driving like a teenager. But the encouraging thing is that Omar has done over 10 drives already on this version. And that's the only safety critical intervention I've seen. We're not talking about being robotaxi level yet, but because of how human-like 12.3 is, we're getting to the point where it's actually going to be enjoyable to use. And that's really exciting because that's what's going to increase the take rate and get people generally excited about the future. Just take a look at how cars have evolved over the last 100 years. That's a Ford Model T next to a Tesla Cybertruck. AI is just beginning. AI is basically a Ford Model T right now. Imagine what AI could look like 10 years from now. And if your brain can handle it, imagine what AI could look like a hundred years from now. So I know Elon got us all perked up with his FSD predictions over the years, and he's turned out to be very late, but it's encouraging to see FSD improving, becoming more human-like, and becoming more enjoyable to use most of the time. And if you keep this Model T Cybertruck picture in your head, remember that there is lots of progress left to be made on FSD.